and Easter coming up in just a couple days. And if you've been wanting to do some Easter dying with your kids, well, we've got a fun way to do that this morning. Meteorologist Samantha Jacks has a way to make it a little more explosive. Hi, Sam. Hi, Laura. Yes, it's time to up your Easter egg game and color them using science. This simple experiment is going to combine STEM education, of course, and the holiday tradition of dyeing your Easter eggs. We'll do so by combining an acidic acid and a base, giving us a creative chemical reaction. All right, I'm with Jay this morning. We're going to give it a shot, Jay. I'm so excited. It's been many years since I've done this. So. Okay, so you need very simple ingredients, which is the best part of this experiment. You're going to need baking soda, your hard-boiled eggs, vinegar, and some food coloring. That's it. Done. I got it all ready for me here. Okay, so first things first, put your baking soda inside the container. I'm going to never give you exact proportions because part of science is proportions. Right. Checking, guessing, seeing how much of each you need. The next thing you're going to do is grab that food coloring and you're going to mix it into your baking soda. Now, be a little bit generous with this. I am always, more is going to be better in this situation. You want them to really pop, right? For, yes. the, for the Easter holiday here. Exactly. And then you're going to mix it together. Now, we have this jelly food coloring, it's probably easier to use the regular food coloring, to be completely honest with you. Now, once you mix this together, you have your sodium bicarbonate or your baking soda. That's, of course, going to be your base of this chemical reaction. Then you have your vinegar or your acidic acid. That's, of course, going to be your acid of this reaction. Ah. All right, are you ready for the fun part? I'm ready. I went with the red here just in case it explodes oh, everywhere. It'll kind of blend perfect. in with my suit. That's great. Now, you're going to place your eggs inside of your container. I'm going to put both of mine in there. So I used green. I'm going to throw a little bit extra on top just for safety precautions here. Make sure we're getting them really good. Oh, yeah. All right, now we're going to take our acidic acid or our vinegar, and we're going to pour it right on top of your Easter eggs, creating the chemical reaction, of course. Oh, cool. Now use as much go. as you want. This can be as messy or not messy as you want it to be, continuing to pour more vinegar to make that that little uh -oh. bit more explosive. Jay went all I the way, giving much. the full <laughs> fizzy frenzy there. So much fun, so easy. And what I love about this is that you actually need the vinegar in the first place to make the dye stick to your Easter egg. Now use your fingers, kind of massage it over the egg a little bit. That's why we're using gloves today. And then we have your tie dyed. Let's see if we can get oh this gosh, part on camera. Oh my gosh, it happens so fast. Green, I have a little bit of green and yellow Easter egg. So pretty simple, pretty easy, and a lot more fun and kind of messy way to dye your Easter eggs this holiday season. Now, Meredith, I know that your little kiddo is probably going to be doing this tradition this weekend. Do you think you're going to go all the way there with using the baking soda and vinegar. I think this is so <laughs> fun and we're all about, uh, we are all about encouraging STEM. And so I know this is something that Marin and Judah would absolutely love. So yeah, I think we're gonna up our Easter egg dying game this weekend, Sam, with this suggestion, because it's a riot. Love to hear it. <laughs> awesome.